Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to install a uh, pie hole on Proxmox LXC. So, uh, this makes it to where you can run your own DNS server on your local area network. So, uh, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So I'm going to start on the Proxmox V helper scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description. So I'm going to go to Pihole with a dash and then you right here. So you can copy it, but um, we're going to need to uh, set a password, of course, for the that one. And then um, we're going to need to show the files that is actually installs because on my videos I like to go over what you're installing because that's the most important thing. So I'm going to go into CT and Pihole and then this is the CT so it's set in default settings. Uh, this script will run when you actually run the uh, script inside of an LXC that's already created with Pihole and then it shows you the IP. So I'm going to go over to install now. It's installing curl sudo mc ufw for the firewall and then ntp and then now it's uh, setting up the setup vars. It's setting up DNS for the upstream servers. It's using Google's and then um, query logging and then um, it's also running the uh, pi hole script off off of install.py dash hole dot net. And it's running unattended. That means that there's no things to pop up and alert you that it's running. It's just unattended. So once it installs, it's going to clean up the apt get. So now that's about it. So we'll get to installing it. So now I'm going to start in my Proxmox. Uh, so I'm going to go to my node that I want to install it on. I'm going to go to my shell. And then I'm going to clear this out. And then now I'm going to paste the command that we copied over in Proxmox V helper scripts. I'm going to run it with return or enter. This will create a new pihole LXC proceed. Yes. Yes. And then we can go in there and look at the advanced settings. So De Debian 12 it's using. So we can change this to Ubuntu and Jammy. And how you do this, and you d d make little stars happen, is the space bar. So I'm going to do unprivileged. You can set a root password for the LXC. So you can just do password. And then um, we can put a container ID. So I'm going to just do 900. And then we can set the host name. I'm going to do YT for YouTube. And then... We can set a disk size. It's in gigabytes. So I'm going to do 15 gigabytes. We can allocate cores to it. Can allocate only one. I'm going to put 2 gigabytes on it. And then um, set a bridge. Or around 2 gigabytes. Um, so set, set a static IPv4 uh, address. You can just do that. Return, uh, I disable IPv6, no interface, and just go ahead on these. Do you want to enable root SSH access? I'm going to say no. Enable verbose mode. This is to where you can actually get more info on if the script is having issues with running. So you can go over here with the, the arrow button over on the left. And you can pr press return or enter to say yes. I'm going to say no. And then ready to create a Pi-hole LXC. Yes. So it's setting up the storage. It's getting the template list. It's creating the LXC container over here. You can see it. It's Pi-hole YT right here. And then um, it's setting an IP address from the DHCP server. 
I would recommend if you're going to use this, set a static IP on the MAC address of the LXC. Go ahead and update in the container OS now. It did resolve the GitHub IP address, so that means the DNS is resolving. This could take a bit to update the container OS. Okay, now it's installing the dependencies. Now it's running the pyhole, a, a, a command off of install dot pyhole and then dot net the URL Okay, now it's cleaned, it's cleaned up. And then now you can see that it has an IP down here with admin on the end. So I'm gonna copy that. So we have Pi-hole installed, but how do you know it's actually working? So I'm gonna do NS lookup and then Big Bear Tech World. And then I'm gonna put the IP of the Pi-hole in here and now I'm going to return or enter. You, you can see it did work. And it did get the IP for the domain. So that's how you check if the pie hole is actually working. So we're going to go over to LXC that we created. Which is going to be on the 900 if you followed the tutorial. And then we're going to go up to shutdown. We're going to go up to, this, uh, to the right of the shutdown and do the drop down. We're going to say reboot. We're going to say yes, and then it's going to reboot the LXC. This is uh, required. And then we're going to go ahead and change the password next. So now we're going to need to set the password on the UI and change it. So I'm going to go here and copy it. And then I'm going to go back over to my LXC and run this. So I'm going to go to my Proxmox. And then I'm going to start in my 900 and then console. And then uh, if you put a password in on the SSH, you're going to put it in. So I'm going to put root. Then I'll put my password in. Then I'll put it in on the command. I'm going to clear it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy that pi hole and then AP. And then now I'm going to enter a new password. Okay, new password is set. So now we are ready to log into the UI. Okay, so now that pi hole command that we entered here, we changed the password with, you'll need that for the UI. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the UI now. So we can see that there's a password in, so enter that password. So now I'm gonna remember for seven days, log in. You can see it's working. You can see 170,011 items are blocked on the domain list. You can query the logs. You can see the query logs and what's coming through it. You can see the long-term data, graphics, query log, top, top list, groups, clients, domains. You can add a domain and add it to block, blacklist, whitelist. And then you can add a list too. So you can add a list. Uh, there's a lot of them online. So you can find one that's for the pie hole. Uh, they already have one right here. So um, now you can disable blocking. You can, sh you can set up local DNS for DNS records and CNAME records. You have tools to where you can diagnose things. And then you have settings. 
So you can have a DNS to where you can change the upstream DNS servers. So you can change it from Google to Cloudflare or Quade 9. And then you can go ahead and down here and you can press the save button. You can also set up custom upstream DNS servers. Like if you have an unbound server on this LXC, you can put the local IP address here. You can set up your own DHP server. You can change the web interface. Here's the API to get an API token. And then you can set the, pri uh, the privacy and uh, teleporter back up and restore. So that's how to get Pi-hole running on Proxmox LXC. So I just showed you how to install Pi-hole on Proxmox LXC. This makes it to where it's an easy solution to where you can block domains on your network and block malware, block ads, th things like that. It keeps your network secure. It's like a little shield. So, um, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go down to the Big Bear Community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.